I just arrived in Sevilla and I am super excited. Country number? I will let you guys guess. Leave me a comment to tell me what number is this country. But that's the bus station right behind me. And I have about 15 minutes walk to get to my hostel. Yes, I'm staying in a hostel this time. And that's what I want to talk about today. This is the hostel where I'm staying. It's Oasis Hostel and it's not that far from where all the fun is happening. And they do actually have two hostels. There's one that's more for socializing, fun, partying. And then there's this one where I am going to be staying for the next few days. That's more for co-working. So I'm really excited to, to check this out. And they do actually have a self-check-in system. I have to show up with my phone. They give you information about the app that you should download. And then you just do the check-in and get in on your own. No interaction with anybody. So we'll see how that goes. For the first time in a very long time, I am sharing the room with other people. I stayed in hostels before. I shared rooms with other people before. And then I also stayed in private rooms in hostels, which is a good option for somebody who doesn't want to maybe deal with other people or mix and mingle with other people. You can still, there are some hostels with private rooms that you can book and you still have access to all the other amenities and you still have access to people if you want to socialize. But at the end of the day, you still have your room where you go and you have your private space, which I loved so much. I stayed at the Selena, which is a network of hostels around the world. And I had such a great time having my own private room and still enjoying the rest of the amenities and mixing and mingling with other people. For this one, let me give you a quick tour. So this room, it's got eight beds, got two, four, six, eight, and they all are numbered. So mine is number four. And then there is a private bathroom. So really this bathroom is just for the eight of us. I still haven't met anyone. No one is here. And uh, yeah, so the bed, it looks decent. There is a pillow and then right underneath there's storage. So I can store all of my bags down there and that should be enough space. And actually the guy at the reception, he was kind enough to lend me a lock. And that's something that I should have brought with me. Just gave me a lock that I can use. Um, other than the rooms, let me show you the view. Oh, there's a little mirror, which is really nice. Trash bin. And then from the window, so there's actually a little balcony. How neat. This is the view from the balcony. It looks quiet, but then right as you turn right, there's so much going on. There's so much activity and I really love it. I love that the hostel is tucked away so that you have some sense of quiet. <laughs> so that's really nice. There are a few things that happened yesterday. Oh my gosh, yesterday was a loaded day and my stay in Sevilla is cut short. So I ended up with one day yesterday here in this beautiful city. And today I leave to the airport. I'm flying to London first and then I have to make my way back to the United States. But before I leave, I wanted to show you around the hostel. So this is the, the terrace. They did actually have a nice pool with a bar right there and there's a nice seating area and what's really neat about this hostel is that it's very very close to Las Sietes that's the building it's the wooden building that I toured actually yesterday it's really neat and it's within walking distance from all the fun that's happening out here which is pretty incredible and then out there uh, is the kitchen and there are a few tables I don't know if I'm comfortable just filming everybody in the kitchen but I try to be quick about it Just being too awkward filming people in the kitchen, but uh, they do have a small kitchen with the, uh, everything that you would need to make food there. They have free coffee, they have free tea, and then you can store your food in the fridge, just like typical hostel style. And 
they do have two floors our rooms are right there I'm trying to be quiet because it's pretty early in the day and there are a bunch of other rooms so they do have rooms for women only and then they have rooms for men and then they have mixed dorms as well and that's the first floor this is a conference room per se or you can sit here and get some work done and they have a bathroom right there this is one of the things that i really liked about this hostel is that it's more of a co-working hostel so most of people who are staying here are people who are working while traveling or being some sort of digital nomad if you will and so honestly i stayed in hostels before when i was in my early 20s and i feel like now that i'm approaching my 30s i always wonder if it's still a good idea to stay in a hostel because in the back of my head it's more of a place for maybe younger people who want to party who want to drink who want to just have fun in ways that i probably don't enjoy myself but uh, there are so many options out there like not all hostels are party hostels plus there are options where you can isolate yourself from the rest of people like if you're not comfortable with sharing a room with 12 people or 24 people because there are some hostels where you can share the same room with 24 people which can really be overwhelming but you can either go the route of having your private uh, room or you can look for hostels that are more of co-working spaces which is great so usually when i look for hostels i use the word hostel app and it's been really great so what i would do i would just uh, uh, search for ratings that i that are high up so regardless of whether it's co-working or not co-working hostel i would choose i would choose ratings that are 10 9 8 uh, at the very least and then i would look for amenities that i'm interested in so for example during this stay i wanted to make sure that i have a washer and dryer because <laughs> i brought all of my laundry from from portugal i wanted to make sure that there is a conference room of this sort so that i can sit down and get some work done although that didn't even happen because because I'm leaving immediately uh, but I wanted to make sure let's say there's a hot tub there's a pool so you would uh, you would add uh, these amenities in your filters and then you would read the reviews I think the best place are the reviews you get to see what people are saying and uh, with the with the this uh, app I like the fact that there are some chat groups so that if you want to socialize when you get to your hostel there are group chats that you can join if you would like to meet some people and get out and maybe do some activities together or join them for any things that happening around the city so that will allow you to socialize when you want to anyway so this is it for this video today i have to head out to make my way to the airport and i will see you guys in the next video